hello internet welcome to tutorial number two of ns2 uh, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to run a sample ns2 file mm, let us begin now i've got two files for you here one is example 3.tcl which is an example of a wired network and then I have an example of a wireless network. I'm going to illustrate uh, step by step as to how you can execute, uh, as to how you can run these two uh, sample NS2 files in NS2, which is installed on Ubuntu here in my case. Uh, okay, let's begin. Now uh, you need to know the location of the files so that you can go to that location in terminal in my case I have put the files in tutorial 2 folder alright step number one uh, any ns2 file has an extension .tcl which is turbo c language because the syntax of NS2 is written in OTCL, which is object-oriented Turbo C language. Now, in order to run this file, you need to open the terminal window as I have done. And once you reach the location of the file, then you can run NS followed by the file name. All right. Now, you'll find the network animator window on the screen now this window is going to show you graphically the topology of the network which you have designed in your simulation file now at this point in time I would like to open this file which is example 3.tcl now here in this file I have defined uh, seven nodes or rather eight nodes and uh, then you attach traffic to those nodes and then you specify the starting time and the end time and then you call the finish procedures. I'm going to illustrate the syntax of NS2 file uh, in later tutorials but uh, the focus of this tutorial is to just know as to how you can run the file and get the output. So this is what we have now in the network window you'll find the play forward button you can click on that and the simulation is running and everything is being written in the output file which is already created by the name of out.nam now this file is being uh, this out.nam file is currently being populated depending upon what is happening in the simulation now uh, this particular network was designed to check the redundancy of the paths so one link was broken after a while so the packets from two are following the other paths Now the total simulation time appears here on the top right hand corner and you can increase the step size if you want to quickly run this through and you can close the network animator window. The output is obtained in this file which contains all all that has happened in those five seconds now uh, we can retrieve the relevant information from this out.nam file by using mm, various awk commands and various batch files and various Perl files but mm, that is going to happen later uh, so mm, that was an example of 
a wired simulation. Let us open a wireless simulation. The the parameters, the defining parameters are going to change in the wireless network scenario. So you have to define everything. You have to define channel, the propagation medium, the type of MAC layer you're going to use, the active queue management technique, and then queue length, routing protocol, the time of the simulation. So everything is. Uh, explained here after the hash sign which is the comment and then uh, we're going to learn the syntax and we're going to understand the syntax in a greater detail in some later tutorial but for, for the time being th there are these uh, nodes which are going to mm, which are going to use DSDV as their routing protocol. So mm, let me just show you how it's going to happen here. So again, uh, the command is NS and then wireless new DSDV.tcl and then press the enter button. Okay, you've got the network animator window now you can see this is a wireless scenario so you do not see the links between the nodes and you can click on the play button and just to quickly run through the network animator window I'm going to increase the step size value there is a movement in the nodes uh, the nodes remain static for a certain period of time and then they start to move and with some average node speed and how it affects the routing and how it affects the performance parameters like packet loss and everything it is all captured in the output files which in this case uh, would be these two dsdv.nam dsdv.trace win.trace so the output is obtained here it tells you everything that has happened in the simulation again you have got a trace file a lot of information written dsdv.nam Alright, so that is how you run a sample script file in NS2, provided you have NS2 installed on your machine. And uh, time and again, I tell you that all these all these tutorials they make sense only if NS2 is installed on your system. So if you want to know how to install NS2, you can check out my other video where I explain the installation of NS2 on Ubuntu machine in detail. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it helps and if it does, click on the subscribe button down below and in order to download example3.tcl and this file, you can click on the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye.